Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Quake because Quake has had some sort of enhancement, it's got some upgrades and you know what, I am so pleased to be playing Quake once again. Quake is being one of my most favourite games of all time. As far as FPS shooters goes, it's right up there with one of the best of all time. So my original sort of plan for video games, yes nowadays I do a lot of uh, bike videos etc, but my original plan and original games to always go to were FPS shooters from the 90s and this is a uh, no exception from playing the original Quake back in the day to original Wolfenstein 3D to Doom to then a continuing it on all throughout the years because it is honestly my most revered franchise ever in the sense of the id software games so it's just Doom, Quake and just so many there's so many to discuss there's so many to talk about Blood is amazing as well well, for now, I'm playing Quake. <laughs> so basically, this new patch brings us brand new features in Quake that haven't yet to be seen before, and of course, just makes Quake a much better and much, much more enjoyable experience to play on a uh, newer PC system. Because of course, recently I was playing Quake, but on my own, I didn't make any videos on the channel. But I was playing it recently with Quake Spasm. It's one of the uh, unofficial patches that someone's made just to make the game a little bit easier. Basically, it's a source port, I think that's what they call it. I do uh, GZ Doom for Doom, etc. And it makes a massive difference to the gameplay experience and just makes it all just that little bit much better. Good to see the addition of achievements in a game such so legendary. That honestly, games like this, I love getting achievements. And to see that achievements are in this game, just brilliant. I will definitely, definitely be getting the 100% on this game. Now, of course, Steam has the perfect games. I intend to get the perfect game. And I even bought it on the PlayStation 5 as well to probably get the Platinum too. But, of course, as Quake goes, this is the original game as is. But, uh, of course, add enhancements, upgrades, etc. And there's uh, quite a nice amount of upgrades, to be quite honest with you. And I'm really liking the idea of upgrading older games so they run better. But as we're uh, finishing up the first level, we are on hard by the way. I wanted to play a Nightmare but I uh, didn't see the option to bring out the axe there for absolutely no reason whatsoever. But I, uh, I am a bit of a Quake veteran so I should know what I'm doing in the sense of uh, finding secrets etc. So of course as you can tell already, enhanced graphics, the, the graphics look smoother, the textures are nicer and cleaner. Of course, the just visuals themselves just look great. I don't mind the original look anyway. Of course, I, I wouldn't mind playing it in its original form. But this is just that much sweeter. It's got that extra bit of just fidelity that you need to experience this game in its all its glory. I, I can honestly say it's probably wonderfully and lovingly created. And I got, I'm really happy with it. Really, I really am. And I would have been more excited to play this than even Ghost of Tsushima, which came out a few days ago, which <laughs> I don't know whether that says a lot about me as a person or about the games I play, but I really couldn't wait to play this game, enhanced if you will. Because as I say, I played Quake Spasm and it, it was fine. It makes the game uh, to, to run a little bit better, but at the same time it didn't quite have any improvements, especially like these ones. Was there a bit of a battle infighting there between the enemy? Oh, goodness me. Oh, I'm getting absolutely slaughtered there. <laughs> and speaking of new features, how about a weapon wheel for Quake 1? Absolutely crazy stuff to have a weapon wheel on Quake 1. That is just absolutely bizarre. But I tell you what, I like it. It's a nifty little feature. Personally, I don't think I'll ever use it. I'll probably stay to the original mouse scrolling because it's just a little bit easier. But at the same time, you've got to appreciate the quality of life improvements that have occurred to this game as I'm pretty much almost dead, so I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here. So, of course, this free upgrade doesn't just mean that this is going to be a prettier looking version of Quake. There is more to it than that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this guy trying to get involved. Trying to get through as quick as we can. Give him the old slip. Give him the dipsy do. Beautifully done there. But of course this update does more than just make the game look pretty. There is more stuff to it, There's, uh, and of course as you can see the hand to hand graphics which is the most obvious thing. The game now has the original soundtrack included, which was made by Nine Inch Nails if I'm uh, not mistaken. The in original two expansion packs which I don't believe I ever actually played, so I'm going to be really looking forward to playing those. I did try the Quake 2 expansion packs because I absolutely adore Quake 2. I think I actually ended up playing Quake 2 first before Quake 1 back in the day. There is a brand new Dimension of the Machine episode, which again, obviously I've never played because it's brand new. Hence being the name brand new. So I'm just trying to give that guy the slip. 
And just like they did with the likes of Doom 2 and uh, Doom 1 releases on console, as in like the last gen consoles of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, they added extra like optional like, extras and add-ons which people can download from each other. And it's a great feature, it really is, because these games are timeless. They, they'll never, ever die. There's so much life still left in them. There's people still making content for these games. And of course, the excitement doesn't stop there. We do have online play and against bots, split screen, multiplayer, whatever you want to play. Oh my goodness, this is going to be absolute carnage in here. Lightning guns are galore as it's just carnage in here as I get myself. But it's so cool to have a feature like Quake multiplayer in modern 2021 because it's absolutely epic. I'm trying to get a good gun here. I'm just dying every single time. Absolute carnage. But it's certainly a pleasure to be playing multiplayer version of Quake from back then, but now in 2021. Because of course, Quake Champions is still a fantastic game, but it just lacks that sort of personality that this game had. And this online multiplayer is unbelievable. I'm actually playing against the bots right now, but still, this is absolute chaos. Just as what you would expect if you played online. Just trying to get a few kills going here, but the lightning gun is unbelievable. Of course, the lightning gun is unbelievable, no matter what. We've got a nice couple of jibs there. I'm going to try and camp down here now to see if we can get some extra points. But look at the speed, goodness me. Nice, we have the lightning gun in our possession. It's time for us to slaughter. Yes! Killing it all! Oh. So it is so cool to have multiplayer in this game, and of course you can play this online, you can play this split screen as well, so even support split screen gameplay even in 2021. But of course the mayhem from online will never be replicated in online video games, never. The way they were so special back in the day, Quake 3 Arena, Quake 1 Deathmatch, etc, just, just so good, and of course being on the precipice now of winning, I just need one more point. This will uh, be the one beautifully timed and beautifully done. How about that one? And just one of the final couple of features to mention, the last one being that basically you can play this crossplay. I've just read that, I didn't even actually see this until now, but crossplay is available for Quake. So if you buy this on console, you should be able to play with other consoles and uh, other PCs, from what I understand. That's what I'm reading. I didn't know that was a feature. I didn't see it on the, um, on the patch notes, but uh, apparently that's a thing so um yeah start slaying with your friends online I mean of course Quake you can do the co-op multiplayer as well or just do the multiplayer in the sense of deathmatch I've yet to try the online actually it's not sure how good the player base is going to be but I imagine a lot of uh, fathers and 27 year olds like myself are all coming in back into this to play Quake online because of course it's just so timeless I'm having an absolute blast I mean I may even do a let's play series on Quake I adore Quake so much and it's just so good to have this game here. Of course, as well, the final patch notes, I guess, is it supports many languages. English, French, Italian, Spanish, German, and Russian. I guess that's the uh, last bit, but honestly, guys, one of the features that I'm going to love the most about from this, even if it didn't have enhanced graphics, it didn't have all the DLC packs, if it didn't have the bot uh, multiplayer, the thing I'm most happy with is the achievements. I love getting achievements, and playing these games and getting the achievements is going to be so exciting. I'm going to enjoy it so much. There's a couple of challenges in there as well, like killing a scrambler with a, an axe. It's just, it's going to be very challenging and going to be very exciting. So, as far as I'm concerned, I cannot wait. I'll probably finish off this particular um, bout of multiplayer and then I will uh, call it quits. But for, for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And then uh, let's sit back together and enjoy slaying some bots in multiplayer. Who's going to go down first? Oh, he's in the water. Oh, goodness me. I can hear the action unfolding around me, but I'm not part of it, and I'm jealous. Whoa. Nail gun. I say he sh should be dead now. Come on. Ah. <laughs> nice. That's another one. Look at him with the axe. Go on, mate. Go on. Get him with the axe. <laughs> I probably should have taken advantage of that and got there some kills in, but I couldn't help it. I see. <laughs> so guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favourite first-person shooter game? Now, of course, for me, Doom will always be king, but Quake is always that close second. It's a, it's a tied second with Blood, with all the 3D Realms games, such as Duke Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior, etc, etc. There's just so much to choose from. It's, it's hard to say a definitive one, but Doom will always be the definitive one for me. 
and there it is, ending on a high with a wonderful double barrel shotgun kill. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one, it's been a little bit different, but uh, this has been Quake Enhance. It's uh, completely free for everyone on Steam if you already own the original version. On consoles, I do believe it is £7.99. An absolute steal, if I do say so myself. But guys, upon that note, thank you very much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Dot Trace upload. And upon that note, guys, thanks for watching and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.